Today, I, my topic is MOBSs. Uh, the causative agent of MOBSs is Antamoeba histolytica. This disease is caused by protozoan uh, called as Antamoeba histolytica. It lives as endoparasite in the upper part of the large intestine, colon of man. It lives in the upper part of the uh, large intestine. Simply, we can say the large intestine also called as colon. And amoeba histolytica has two forms, minute form and mega form. It has a single blunt pseudopodium called a pseudopodia, labopodia. It is, it is pseudopodia, it is called as labopodia. Labopodia secretes enzyme histolysing. Here we can come, this is the pseudopodia of this interamoeba. This is called a labopodium. Uh, this labopodium, this secretes an enzyme that is called histolysine. This histolysine dissolves the walls of the intestine. How? This, intestine, this enzyme uh, causes ulcers in the intestine by dissolving the walls of the intestine. Uh, then hap what happens there? Blood comes out from the walls of this intestine. This causes ulcers. Parasite feeds on RBCs. This intestine feeds on the RBCs of the blood of man. An intestine parasite becomes spherical and secretes a cyst around it. It becomes a ball-like structure, small structure, and develops a cyst around it. These cysts passes out with the sutules of the patient. This is called amoebic dysentery. The patient passes out the sutules. These sutules are uh, having blood, uh, blood, blood with the, in these sutules. These are called blood sutules. Uh, this uh, disease is called amoebic dysentery. The infection to the fresh host ca causes through the agency of infected water and food. Uh, on reaching the host, the cyst ruptures and cautery nucleate stage comes out. It divides by binary fission into light minute forms, which grow into trophic forms and repeat the cycle. Here what happens? This antimoeba histolytica, it forms a cyst in the intestine. Intestine may a cyst jasa banata, wall jasa banata, ball jasi banti hai. Is ball may a antimoeba hota is may char nucleus hote hai. जब ये फीसे से बाहर निकलता है सुटोलो से बाहर निकलता है तो फिर जब ये होस्ट के पास पहुंच जाता है दूसरे होस्ट के पास पहुंच जाता है दूसरे इंसान के पास पहुंच जाता है फूड के जरिए वाटर के जरिए तो वहां पर ये ब्रेक हो जाता है चार न्यूक्लियस निकलते हैं इसमें और चार न्यूक्लियस चार ऑर्गेनिज्म में चार एंटीएमीबा में बन जाते हैं इसके ना वी विल सी पैथोजेनिसिटी क्या-क्या बीमारियां इससे लग जाती है एमएबी डिसेंट्री एक डिजीज है जिससे जो इससे फैलती है एंटेमेबा से एंटेमेबा कॉजेस अ डिजीज कॉल्ड एमएबी डिसेंट एमओबीएसिस और एमएबी डिसेंट्री इट इज कॉज्ड बाय हिस्टोलाइसिन व्हिच सिक्रेटस बाय एंटेमेबा एंटेमेबा हिस्टोलिटिका इन इंस्टाइन सिक्रेटस द Secretes an enzyme, histolysin. Histolysin dissolves the walls of the intestine and results in the ulcers. Uh, these ulcers, and due to these ulcers, a loss of blood takes place. This loss of blood with the sutules, this is called amoebic dysentery. When there occurs the loss of blood, it causes gripping pain in the abdomen of the patient. And when there is loss of blood, it, causes, it leads to anemia. It leads to a shortage of blood. The next disease which is caused by the antimoeba histolytica, this is called hepatic amoebasis. Sometimes this, this protozoan, this pathogen reaches to liver where it causes abscess and ulcers. It causes abscess of liver. It causes inflammation of liver. And black ring appears around the eyes. This condition is called salo. This, this, is, this is a by character, uh, characterized by a ring-like structure around the eyes. This, 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 this condition is called solo. Here also sometimes the rupture of liver takes place. Uh, third is the pulmonary amoebasis. Sometimes the, this antimoeba reaches to the lungs by bullet wire. It dissolves alveoli and air sacs. There are small air sacs in the lungs. 
these are called air sacs or alveoli uh, the septum of the patient contains blood and tissue this is called acute bronchitis what happens here it ruptures the alveoli and bleeding occurs there this blood comes out through the septum of the patient uh, this septum contains blood and tissue this is called a, uh, acute bronchitis Number fourth disease, which is caused by this antimeba histolytica, that is called capillary amebiasis. Sometimes antimeba blocks the blood capillaries. Sometimes it blocks the capillaries. It jams the capillaries. This disease, this dissolves the walls of capillaries and causes hemorrhage. When it breaks the walls of the capillaries, this is called hemorrhage, blood hemorrhage. How now? Now treatment and prevention. How this disease is treated and what is the prevention of the disease? This disease is treated by drugs like metronidazole and tinidazole. This is two drugs for this disease. That is metronidazole and tinidazole. Now preventive measures. And how can we prevent this disease from getting infected? This disease is prevented by proper disposal of stools. Stools are very important. This disease is prevented by proper disposal of stools. This disease is prevented by proper disposal of stools. Stools are very important. This disease is prevented by proper disposal of stools. Stools are very important. एक प्रॉपर डिस्पोजल ऑफ स्टूल होना चाहिए फ्लश सिस्टम होना चाहिए एंड स्टेरिलाइजेशन ऑफ वाटर वेजिटेबल्स एंड अदर फूड आइटम्स द फूड आइटम्स वी टेक फॉर एग्जांपल वाटर वी टेक वेजिटेबल्स वी टेक एंड अदर फूड आइटम्स वी टेक वी शुड स्टेरिलाइज दिस फूड आइटम्स दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट द एंटीमेबा हिस्टोरिका और द एमओवीएसिस दैट इज ऑल थैंक्स